Everybody, we're back and today I got an extra little piece done on the engine. We are going to do the upper and lower um, intakes. So there is a two-piece intake, the upper and lower, which are both made out of metal on this um, overhead valve engine. Ford has a lot of these two-piece intakes, which have separate gaskets. You got to make sure that you do these correctly. And the torque on the upper and the uh, lower is the same. All right, now we're down to getting the two piece, the lower piece of the intake back on the engine. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is an apply a gasket here. This is a crush gasket. Uh, sometimes these are made out of metal. This has metal in it. And then I'm gonna take a wee little tiny bit of the RVT and get it in the corners right here where these pieces go. Now, I'm not a big fan of RVT, especially when it breaks and comes out the back and, you know, you can't use it. But in the corners, like right here, you should glob it. And a little glob right here. Okay, it'll help to keep... Okay, so... Mash this one down. And clean the booger on the inside up. A little better. Hate that stuff on the inside. Alright. Ugh. Just hate this crap. And this one side has holes, so you gotta get this thing in there correctly. All right. All right, now we're set. Now, you can get all your push rods and everything in except for one on the 3.0 Ranger engine, and that's what we're working on today. So this is the lower intake, and we're just gonna go ahead and flip that over. And the firing sensor here is where the distributor would be, so it has to go in. This section, and it looks pretty perfect to me. And then we're gonna have to put our last piece in here, tighten that one down. Always make sure you look down in here with a camera or a um, flashlight to make sure you're on this last hydraulic lifter. Then you're gonna bolt down this piece in the front and um, make sure that everything's all lined up. Once you bolt down your intake, you're pretty much good to put your valve covers on the sides here and the top of the intake on. So this is how you do the bottom of the intake. And I gotta go find those bolts so we can get that put in. So the intake are the star pattern, which are Torx, and it's a T45, and it's 22 foot pounds, which I set. And then we're gonna do the same star pattern we always do, you know? Work from the inside, there it is, and then go across, and then go back to this one, and then just make your way all the way around, and then we're going to start putting in this upper top um, gasket. We're going to put these two valve covers on, and then we're going to put this top intake on. All right, now we're to the fuel rail and injectors. And I just wanted to show you what an injector looks like. This is one type of injectors. I've seen three different type of injectors. Um, 
you got to make sure these o-rings on top and on bottom are good and these caps are still good and what you're going to do is you're going to push the injector with the plug side facing outwards and get it all up in there real good and then try to figure out how this is going to go on so this is a rubber line and this is a rubber line so it goes underneath here and then these three holes you got to kind of line it up you have to line it up here and then move it a little bit, line it up there. You see how it's all, you see how it's all lined up now where it's supposed to be. And then you're just going to give it a good firm press down and you're going to feel it pop into place. So look at that one just popped in. There it, that's in. That one popped in, okay. And then we're gonna do the, gonna do the same thing on the other side here. You're not gonna be able to see, you see how you can't see the, the O-ring on this side? That means you popped them in down good. And then when it bolts in, this will stay in place. Now on the other side, I can't get it to where the O-ring is. So I'm gonna pull that out and put a little um, grease around the O-ring and then pop them down in. Do not pack grease down in the hole because you don't want to plug this up. Barely, 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 barely put any on the O-ring if you're going to do it this way. Then now that where you see where the line is, you can connect this um, gas line right in when we put the engine in. You don't have to worry about taking anything off and uh, wasting our time. We're just going to do a complete engine swap in. So we're gonna go ahead and test these, um, uh, pop these fuel lines, make sure they're snug, and then we're gonna put the uh, valve covers on and the intake on top of that. So right here on the fuel rail, as you can see, there's a hole right here. I started one bolt, so it's an eight long, and I just start it by hand, like everything. Mm -hmm. And then um, as I put this eight in, as I notice it's starting to get tighter, what I'll do is I'll push down on the fuel rail. So it kind of feel like it locks it in place. The, the hole isn't like this, it's not a perfect hole. It, it slides up and down a little bit. So I'd rather just push it and lock it in. And then um, I know that the fuel rail is in all the way. So I did the two on the other side. So now these two are in. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and put the, uh, so we got the injectors, the fuel rail. We're gonna put this top piece of the intake on and these valve covers, everything is torqued down. These are 20, 26. Uh, this is gonna be torqued down 22. The top one gets torqued down 22 and we're off running. So <clears throat> now I have put the little gasket there and put the intake up. I'm going to connect these two bolts right here just to kind of hold it in place. So we can kind of mock it up before I bolt these big bolts in there. I want to make sure everything is okay. <clears throat> Nothing seems to be touching or loose. Um, the connection is good on the side over here. So everything looks like it's going to be the way it's supposed to be. And then we'll just tighten these, tighten these, tighten these, and the upper intake will be on. Then we'll go through the torque spec of torquing this down as well. And then we're gonna go ahead after that, we're gonna put the thermostat in and we're gonna put the um, throttle body on up here as soon as we find it. This down. Where it's supposed to be and match into that gasket. Oh, that's the wrong one. So this is the last part. Um, we're gonna go ahead and torque these bolts. We are on 22. So I go to 20 and then I add the little two when I slide it over. And then we just, you know, we I gotta hand tighten them all and then we go to our 22, so. 
And once it clicks, that's it. Remember, 22 foot-pounds. There it is. Click, little clicks, little clicks. Little click. Hear it? Listen. Hear it? Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. That's the click. Now, I'm gonna have to show you something here. On this one and this bolt, you have to take this top piece of this bolt off and then use a long half inch to get this one and this one over here because a piece goes on top of this, something with the, um, the harness. So now that we have the intake on, on the top, we're gonna continue to move on with our build and go on to the next piece. So give us a like, subscribe, and then um, click onto the playlist. Then as we build the engine, every day or every week, you can go down the playlist and see how to take it apart while you're taking it apart, and then click right onto the piece that you want and click how to put it back together. So thanks for coming and we'll see you.